This is the current state of uh, my workbench or desk. As you can see, paints everywhere, and I have paints on the shelves up there. And I have paints over there now. My problem is that um, I tend to get lots of paints out for a particular project and then I sort of just like get more out and more out and more out and um, I saw that uh, Von Kettringham uh, when he came back with some salute was uh, showing off uh, some goods that he'd bought and I thought hmm that looks interesting and what he'd bought I ordered one um, I think it was on Wednesday this week and today is now Saturday and uh, this arrived in the post today and what we're going to do is if I'm very careful I will unenvelope it and there we are okay this is uh, the Warbase's um, paint rack now it fits, I am told, Vallejo paints and uh, paints in those sort of Vallejo shaped bottles uh, which is good because as you can see I've got lots of them now my plan is quite simple is I want to empty the shelves there uh, and the desk of uh, Vallejo paints and put them into these racks so I bought one of these uh, they cost uh, seven UK pounds uh, a rack uh, with postage it came to ten pounds so I'm sure you can calculate that on uh, xc.com or uh, to find out what your local currency would be but um, yeah so first impressions are it's got solid thin laser cut MDF uh, it's got little tabs on this side there which I assume go into these slots so um, I assume I've got to slot it all together so I'm going to do that now right I've cleared the space on the uh, move the paints back and uh, we've got our bits uh, we have two long bits two short bits a back and a front or a back and a front I presume this piece will be the back because the holes are slightly smaller right then let's get it together let's have a look at uh, see how easy it is to put together Okay, I've not put it together with any glue, of course. Uh, I suggest uh, some wood glue uh, in the joints and stuff, which I will do. I'll to disassemble this and take it and put it back together with the glue, obviously, before I actually use it. Uh, like I say, your paints just pop in, and there you go. So. What I'll do now is uh, fix it together properly and uh, we'll get it put to one side and start using it. Well it's a couple of minutes later and uh, you can see by the whiteness around the edges and stuff uh, it's all, all glued up now so I need to leave that for the glue to dry um, and uh, We'll take a look at it in a bit. Um, it went together easier than it did the first time without the glue, but um, no, it's quality, it all fits together lovely. Um, it's not bad for £7. So hopefully, this will solve my, uh, my mess. 
And there we are. Uh, obviously, I've only got the one at the moment. So I did, this is just all the paints that were lying around here. Um, the Vallejo ones, at least, anyway. And I've just popped them in there, and I think that looks really cool. Uh, I've worked out I can fit another two of those along there. And another two in there. What I'm trying to do you see, is clear all the paints off these shelves as best I can because I'd rather put have um, projects that I'm working on up there than uh, lying around all over the place down here. And then uh, hopefully I can clear me clear my life up a bit, put my inks and stuff up there as well probably. Um, but yeah, I think that's well worth seven pound of anybody's money. Like I say, I'll be getting at least another four, maybe five, because I might have one and uh, sort of have it over here for uh, projects. So I can just put the paints for a particular project on it and uh, sort of maybe modify it slightly, put a base on it, put brushes and stuff in it. And yeah, good, very good. Okay, uh, so. I'd hi highly recommend getting one of them uh, if you uh, want to store your, if you've got Vallejo paints at least anyway because obviously it doesn't fit um, the coat of arms and, it, and the Citadel ones either so uh, but if you've got a lot of Vallejo paints or as I've got you know like model colour and stuff um, yeah cool all right Thank you.